Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in live or watching the recording of today's live training session on winning with winbacks and requotes. We're going to do a lot of role play today with uh, some of our rising stars, and I'll even ask for volunteers uh, here from the crowd, but not just yet. Please don't volunteer just yet. Uh, I want to first start off with a CWC success story. So I have my friend Daniel Herrera here. Daniel, uh, you sent me an email just the other day said I sold 12 items today. I really appreciate your training. It's really starting uh, to see it pay off. But man, when I searched your email address, I found an email that you sent to me in March, just three months ago, three months ago, saying that you've been averaging 12 to 15 a month, October through January, but that you hit 22 in February. Fast forward to June, you did 12 in one day, dude. Yep. That is amazing growth, amazing success. So I just wanted to bring you on to share your CWC success story with the world. Tell yep. us more about how you're growing. So I've been in the insurance game since October. And like I said, I was only averaging like five, 10 items, 10, 12 items, you know. And uh, somebody from Allstate sent an email where this lady was sending out like, or we're selling like 80 items a month. So I was like, I emailed her directly and said, what are you doing, you know? And then she referred me to CWC. So ever since then, then taking CWC very seriously, you know, assuming the quote, leading a uh, building rapport, uh, leading with liability, and then assuming the close and just doing that a hundred times a day and just, just following the process. <laughs> wow. That is amazing. So, so you just started in October. Uh, what were you doing before? Uh, I was a manager at Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory. I love yes, the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> they have a menu that's 90 pages deep. I don't even know how they keep up with all those foods. Overwhelming. Um, what is was it? I get I get the shrimp and chicken with the cream sauce. What is that? Uh something. It's amazing. It is so good. Uh what brought you to insurance? What got you interested? In maybe so my dad's careers? been my dad's been an all-state agent for like 20 years. Mm. So, you know, so, so it came over. Blood. Yep, exactly. So I've been around the insurance game a, a long time. So I, I always had an idea about it, but he he works really hard. So, you know, it's to be successful in this business, you got to you got to grind. So I'm starting to learn that. And now, like, like I said, man, just trust in the system and put it in. I put in 400 calls, 500 calls a week, 10 hours of 10 hours of talk time a week. Like, so it's you got to put the work in. But like last Friday, I was kind of having a bad week. Not really. I was like 15 items, you know, kind of trying to hit my goal of 20 every month. And and then what's having a bad week? And then Friday, all my chickens just started hatching. Just, just all our, everything started falling. So, well, it wasn't by luck. It was because you did the work. So you're taking our top pass, CBC top pass, building rapport, leading with liability, positioning coverage is more important than price. Assuming mm -hmm. the close, assuming the bundle, and you've gone from twelve to fifteen to twenty plus out of months to twelve out of days now. Where yep. do you see yourself developing over the next few months as you continue to grow? Oh, I, I want to hit Century Club by the end of the year, for sure. That's a big yeah. goal. That's yep. a big goal, but I think you can I, absolutely I'm about to break. I'm about to break my personal record this month of 45. So I'm going to hit 45 at the end of this month. So I love it. That's amazing growth over the past several months based on where you started from. And man, if you just keep getting a little bit better, just a little yep. bit better every day, you're going to keep beating yourself. I want you to beat yourself. I want you to oh, yeah. beat yesterday, beat last week, beat last month. There's no competition except the man looking back at you in the mirror. Keep learning, keep growing, keep getting better. Let me ask you, man, for somebody that might be watching this, that might be on the fence about getting started with CWC or having this type of training for their producers, what would you tell that agent that maybe is like, I don't know, you know, do we have time to do the training? Can I afford the $7 a day total? That's it for limited access for me and my team. What might you tell that agent that might be on the fence about including CWC for their, their producers? I mean, I'm telling you, I go. So sometimes I come into work and I'm kind of down and then I do my two, three videos and it gets me amped up for the day. So it's like, it, it's a good, it's a good like pickup for the day. And just like, it's a good way, positive note to get into phone calls. So it's like, I don't know. It's just so if you're on the fence of it, I do it because I promise you, if you listen and you do it, it'll, it'll pay off. 
Well, man, look at these chats. Stephanie said, so inspiring. I'm only doing five to 10, but want to do more. Alexandria chatted. I'm so excited to hear that. I'm doing five to 10 a month, only started in April, but CDBC is helping. Well done. Well done, everybody says. Well done. It's amazing, man. I cannot wait to hear how you continue to grow. So you better keep me posted. Absolutely. And I hope by the end of this year, I'm getting an email from your agent saying, Joseph, he did it. He had 100 plus. Send him the Century yes, Club Award. I'm going to have my, Wolf, gonna have my Wolf Chamberlain paper with 100 holding up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, my man. I love it. That is so awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking time to share. Yes, now, sir. what I'm going to do is I'm going to make you uh, a normal attendee again. That way you can just be here to learn and ready to rock. And I'm going to move to Gabby. So let me uh, make attendee. And then I just saw Casey's uh, message saying Casey is here. Good. Well, hold on. Nope. Why am, I, am I not typing it correctly? I thought I saw Casey's chat saying that he was here. Yeah, he is. Wait, Casey Herring? I'm looking for Casey Roach, not Herring. So maybe, is that yes, you? that's me. That is him? Mm -hmm, that's Why what do I said. have his name wrong in my mind? Let's go ahead and pull this Casey on. Let's see if this is the Casey that I'm thinking about. Gabby, hold on one second. Then we're going to do your, your uh, talk path. Yeah. <clears throat> Yo. Yo, is that Casey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why my video is not on. Yeah, and it says Herring. Tell me, is that your last name? Yes, I'll explain later. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, why do I have you down wrong, dude? I've been like, it was legally changed. <laughs> he ain't here. Okay, so go ahead and try to fix your webcam while I'm talking to Gabby. All right, let's sure. kind of start this over the success story in three, two, Hey, everybody, I want to take just a quick second to introduce you to an outstanding insurance producer. Her name is Gabby Tharp, and she's in Kansas with the Farmers Insurance Agency. Gabby sent me this email just the other day saying, Joseph, just this week, I helped a prospect who is a teacher here in town go from $50,000 in liability, that's all she had, increasing it to $250,000 plus an umbrella, plus her home. I was able to get all of that for this teacher. She, she continues. I also helped a prospect who said, I'm not interested in the car insurance, but I might have some other needs. I got to closing his home and his cars, his daughter's car, his other daughter's home that he purchased and was insured wrong and a landlord for the home that he's moving out of at the end of this week. So, you know, Gabby, you're not just taking orders, are you? You're giving people advice and you're protecting them. Tell us more about your outstanding success. Oh, um, I definitely think it, I mean, I know it is from following the process. I, was it's hard when you see someone's 100 300 or 250,000 already it's like oh this is probably easy enough what about your umbrella um and when someone has 25,000 or 50,000 it's so hard to want to bring that up because price is such a factor like I tell people all the time like nope totally fine I get it like dollar time calories it's all a budget and so I scare myself away when I see those numbers and like trying to offer an umbrella but I didn't even like I just followed the the script I went with it I followed it I was like hey like what is your relish like, I, don't know. I don't really know what that is I was like, okay totally fine like let's keep rolling into it and she didn't even like bring up the price she was like okay yeah let's do it and I was like awesome sounds great I here's all your documents go ahead and sign it and I'll call you in two weeks for your two-week follow-up call talk to you soon <laughs> do you have any idea if you were higher in price lower in price like did it even come up the price or her rates come up now no, I didn't ask. She was an online um, quote request. She was like messing around online and did it. And so I pulled it in and pulled it into her agency and went from there. Didn't even ask about price. And you know, she's a teacher. Y'all, mm -hmm. teachers are saints. Saints. They literally spend thousands of dollars and years in school to be stuck in a room with kids, not even their own kids, y'all. I'm sorry. I couldn't be a teacher. You couldn't pay me enough to be around 20 other people's kids. I'm really impressed that you took somebody who's not making a lot of money, but you gave her maximum liability limits and included an umbrella. Why did she need that though? Is she a millionaire? Does she need a million dollars of extra coverage? No. And I use that. I stole that line from you guys. I use it all the time. Like, you don't have to be a millionaire to be sued like one. Um, literally just a week ago, we had an insured who was driving down the road and he, there was a motorcyclist who went into their lane and hit their boat. 
um, walked away, called his friends from the bar to come and pick him up, was very clear in the convinced, like tried to convince our insured, let's just go to the bar and settle it with shots. Like, we don't need to call the police. Um, and then the insured got a letter that he's the motorcyclist who hit his boat was trying to sue him for $100,000. So even though it seems so cut and dry, like people are wild, you never know what's going to happen. So it's always best to be safe and sorry. That's very, very true. And, you know, I imagine she works really hard to provide for herself. Uh, does she have any children? All grown. Up, teacher? Oh, grown children. Okay. Yeah. Uh, married, unmarried. Do you remember? Do you recall? She is married. Yes. And I okay. don't remember what her husband does. I'm assuming like carpentry in there because he's completely remodeled their home and they hadn't even gone over their home insurance since they've added like a third bedroom and an attached garage and all that. So we were able to dive into all of it kind of, which is nice. He's a very handy man. That's good. I wasn't sure like what the whole situation was. You put them in so much better position, you know, everything that they're working so hard for, everything that they're working so hard for their income, their home that he's put his, his sweat in like, y'all, I can't even nail a nail straight. I, I can't like my wife is the handy man at our house. I'm not a very handy person. He has helped build that home. And like the other homes, they've amassed maybe some savings. They have their future ahead of them. All of that could have been at risk because she was driving around with $50,000 of covers. That's all that her, her old agent gave them. You gave them so much more coverage. I'm just proud of you for not taking the easy road. Tell us more about this other guy. He was like, ah, I just want the home. But then you got the yeah. cars, the home, <laughs> both of his daughters covered, landlord policy out of it. Tell us a bit more about that awesome success. Yeah, so that one was another, he's shopping around online. I was helping him and I emailed him the auto quote. And I was like, hey, just so you know, like it pulled in um, the, or he was looking for a home insurance quote for a house that he's buying. I was like, hey, I pulled that in. I've updated it, it to include proper replacement costs because if something happens, we want you to be properly replaced. Um, let's talk. I did include the auto discount. That just includes the best price I can give you. And he was like, I don't really know that I'm interested in auto. Um, I might have some other insurance needs. Call me on Saturday. And I was like, okay, I don't know what that means. So I called him on Saturday and I was like, Hey, um, what's going on? Just wanted to follow up on our email. Did you have any questions to start with on the home quote I sent you? And he's like, well, so I'm buying that. I don't know my closing date, the house I live in, I'm moving out of and I'm letting my one daughter live in. And I was like, okay, well, I know you said no to auto insurance, but I already worked it all up. It pulled everything in for me. So I just want to make sure these three cars are right for you. And he's like, well, yeah, it's really weird that you know that. I was like, oh, I know. Well, our system pulls in from other insurance information. So it's really convenient for me, creepy for you. Um, <laughs> and so then we kind of went over that and I was like, but it pulled in this address on the auto. You're buying this one. Where, where is this house going? And that's when we moved into, well, that's going to be a landlord. He's like, but I also have a third home. I have it insured as my homeowners as well. And I was like, like, do you, do you live there? And he's like, no, I live in this one um, until I buy that one. I was like, okay, well that's insured wrong. That should really be a landlord property or since your daughter is technically the owner of it and paying you his mortgage, we should insure it as her primary. Um, it saves him money on the auto and also increase deductible to get him the umbrella because he's a respiratory therapist at the hospital um and then put his daughter on her own auto since she's going to be living in a separate household and that's the proper way to do that so that's how that one kind of went <laughs> you've got the whole family in hand in in, in good coverage uh both daughters both daughters mm -hmm. so you turn a home lead into home and cars and cars and home and landlord policy. You turn one item, one policy, and then multiple policies for three different customers. That's amazing. You know, your agent investing in leads for you, awesome. You know, what we gotta do is have a good return on that investment. Ladies and gentlemen mm -hmm. watching this, if you're blessed to be an agency that's investing in leads and marketing, if you wanna get more, close more. And she's doing that. She turned one item into numerous policies for numerous different customers. That dramatically increases the return on investment, the ROI for your agents investing in leads in you. That is just really, really cool. I'm so proud of you. And I've really enjoyed getting to know you over the past several months. I cannot wait to continue to watch you grow. Where do you see yourself over the next few months? Oh gosh. Well, I currently average like around 45 to 50. So I'm hoping I can get up to like 75 because that makes that closer century club that much closer. Um, since I've started, I've like watched and highlighted Beth and I'm like, Oh my gosh, I want to be here so bad. Um, but obviously like I am my own like enemy. So I just want to continue to beat myself and improve and help others. That's what I'm here for. 
you're your competitor. You're your competitor. Yeah. You're competing yeah. with yourself. You're going to yeah. beat today. You're going to be better than you were yesterday. This week, better than you were last week. This month, better than you were last month. And listen, I know times are kind of challenging right now for many carriers all across the country, farmers mm -hmm. included, when it comes to rates and guidelines and stuff. But you're hanging in there. Well, you're not. No, you're not just hanging in there. You're growing. You're getting better. You're doing even more. Just imagine when guidelines start to open up rates start to become even more competitive you're gonna skyrocket i can definitely see you hitting century club at some point and i can't wait to send you the cwc century club award keep growing keep getting better and thank you for taking time to share your story with us today yeah. all right let's get some role play boys and girls and actually we have more boys today some of y'all might have been thinking do they have any guys in the rising stars program because i know in our rising stars over the past several weeks it's all been ladies so i've got my my three of my gentlemen here and of course gabby who's also cwc rising star we're going to be working on winning with winbacks and requotes quick introductions from everybody and we already know gabby let's go to dre now dre shared his success story with us a couple weeks ago when he hit century club y'all and he's a producer in florida florida is also a very challenging environment right now but he had 100 plus items in the last month or two i can't remember what month it was dre just real quick introduction tell us a little bit about yourself yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, hit Century Club last month, May. Um, freshly new to the uh, insurance game. I was a personal trainer before. Just following the process was literally the only thing I could do because I knew nothing about it. So it kind of worked out for me. Um, just want to try to repeat, you know, over and over. Man, that's awesome. And I'm really impressed with your development. I can't wait to watch you continue to grow. Thanks so much for volunteering your time to work with us and today. You have a mortgage Let me go now. down to my man, uh, Casey. Casey down there. Tell us a little hey. bit about yourself. You're in Georgia. Tell us a little bit like how long you've been an agent, what an average month for you is. I know you're a Century Club Award winner too. Just tell us more. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm in Atlanta, obviously. <laughs> um, and uh, I've been doing this just right at eight months, seven months selling. Um, I've done Century Club twice, um, and I'm at 94 right now, trying to grab those last six in the last couple of days. So that's uh, my average has been right at 80 or 90. And, and honestly, it's all the training from my agency manager and owner and the process. Like it's so foolproof. It works so well. I mean, I, I wouldn't have been half as successful without the process. Have we made a CWC success video yet? No. All right, we are now. Um, <laughs> hold on a second. You started eight months ago. I thought you'd yeah. been, been around for longer. I don't know why my mind is escaping me. Eight months in the business. What were you doing before uh, you moved to insurance? Uh, I was in the restaurant industry. I was like a front of house manager. I mean, it helps me. Like, you know, you have different tables that you have to serve essentially. And so you want to match that energy. And it's, it's so different phone calls, different clients at the table. It's nice to go from one you know, kind of energy to the next. I was already used to doing that. And I guess that kind of works for me. So uh, definitely helping awesome. me up for that. So what got you interested in insurance, right? What made you yeah. want to move over? I mean, you want the real answer or the fun answer? <laughs> real answer. The real answer, I was just tired. Of, I just came on one day and said, I can't keep doing this with the you know restaurant industry and the re and retail and I just looked around and I actually was going to go to a different um, insurance company altogether. And Kevin snagged me up last minute and uh, it's been a, it's been a blessing ever since. So it was just, I just, I had the dream of being in office nine to five Monday through Friday and not be random schedules till midnight every night. So I'm pretty thankful for that. Absolutely. You have a lot better work-life balance. So in eight months, you've hit century club twice. That means a hundred plus items written in one month. You're at 96 so far this month. Is that what I said? 94, 96? Yeah. You're going to hit it again? Four, yeah. Three times in an eight-month period, Casey, you're doing something really spectacular. What's working for you? Is it like share? Share your knowledge. What's working for you? How are you having so much immediate success? And this is important consistent success. Y'all, we can all have a good day. We can all have a good week. We can all have a good month. But doing it over and over and over again, dude, share. Tell us more. Okay. So a couple things. One, um, use the process. And I mean, you hear Joseph talk. He says, hey, we don't use the process 100% to the T every time, but we, we still get the general idea across. And so you just want to be a human being on the other side of that phone call. And like, you want to treat people the way that you want to be treated and just be real with them about everything. And it usually works. Um, and then another big thing, I don't know if you guys, agents, 
uh, preach this, but we, we uh, mortgage brokers, uh, you know, uh, realtors, anybody in the mortgage industry is your best friend. Just become friends with them. Offer to buy them coffee. Talk about them. Let them talk about their sales. The next day you got two, two leads. The next day you didn't even have to pay for. And then also the big, like, I think my favorite part of the process is the asking for introductions. I think two times maybe tops. I've never not asked for an introduction. And it con it's just, it's amazing to be able to just get those leads coming to you instead of you having to search for them. Um, and so a little mix of all that together, it's, it's been, uh, it's, it's been pretty good. <laughs> Man, that's fantastic. So you're not just sitting back and saying, Matt, where's my leads? Kevin, where's my leads? You're working to generate your own high quality leads that will close at a very high rate. Mortgage loan officers, customer referrals. That's what he means by asking for introductions. When we teach many different ways to ask for introductions, there is no way in my mind that you would have been successful as you have been now if you were just sitting back and saying, Matt, Kevin, bring me leads. No, you're working to develop your own leads. And I want to encourage everybody that's watching this video to really think about that. Think about your social media connections, your friends, your family, as you're scrolling through your Thank Facebook, you. scrolling through your Instagram, you see somebody buying a house, buying a car, moving to a new apartment, getting married, getting divorced. All of those things are opportunities. All of those things are opportunities as you're working with customers, asking them for introductions to other people, referrals. That's amazing. Getting out and doing some networking to develop your referral partners. Y'all, all of these leads are free leads. The more free leads that you can bring into the agency from all these sources, the more paid leads and marketing your agent can do to help fuel you even more. So Casey, thank you so much for taking time to share with us today. I hope this inspires yeah. some people out there. Any final words from you before we move to Matt? I really wanted to go answer Melanie's thing because this is actually a good way to do it. So whenever you close on a home, say you're closing like a home, two cars, umbrella, um, you just say, hey, let me get your mortgage information loan number. Also, who do you talk to over there? Get their direct contact and send it over, call them or email them and say, hey, I just took care of Mrs. Customer. Um, and hey, by the way, I would love to help you with any other loans you're trying to close. We can da -da -da, sell yourself on it. That's a good way to get in front of lenders. Yes, we have some amazing referral training on the platform, y'all. I'd encourage you to watch the courses. If you just search the word referral on the platform, you'll find all the live training sessions that Bo Vincent has done, Daniel Austin has done, Greg Blanchard has done, I, Joseph Puckett, and Craig Wiggins have done. Uh, we've got some amazing chapters on referrals, amazing live trainings on referrals. There's so many different ways to do that. That is gold right there. That is gold, y'all, right there. Y'all like evidence of insurance, mortgage e changes. Don't just process the mortgage e change for a refinance or something. Pick up the phone, call that processor, call that lender, let them know that you've got it taken care of. You took it top priority. Want to make sure that you got it back and it's just perfect. Everything good? Excellent. I wish I had a dollar for every time I asked this question when I did this on mortgage e change. Now that we've got this taken care of, let me ask you do you have anybody else that's on your desk? Any files that are on your desk? Maybe they're dragging their feet with their insurance? I'd be happy to see if I could speed it along. Almost every time they'd say, yeah, I got so-and-so. They want to close next week, but I still don't have their insurance. I'll be happy to see if I could help. And y'all, whenever you're working with a referral partner, you make them absolute top priority. Absolute top priority. You're fast, you're efficient, you're accurate, you're speedy, yeah. you're responsive. Please don't be like, oh God, they changed the closing date again. Ugh, I got to go in here and do a cancel rewrite change date. This sucks. No, be glad. Be glad, y'all. That's an opportunity to reconnect with that partner and see who else they got on the desk that's dragging their feet on their insurance. You treat your referral partners like they're important. You make them a top priority. Watch. That goose will keep laying golden eggs. They'll keep laying those golden eggs. Casey, great work, my man. Keep it up. Keep it up. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Let's move to Matt. Matt Garcia. He's in Texas at the David Acevedo Agency. I've been blessed and fortunate to work with Matt for his whole career with David. When did you get started with David? Has it been about a year? I hit my year next week. Next oh, week I hit my year. University. Now yeah. you're essentially club agent too. Tell us a bit more about your path and your development, Matt. Uh, when I started, um, I knew the same thing about insurance that most folks knew at the beginning, you know, we need it. Um, but aside from that, uh, before I even got hired on, he was like, here's your login for something called CWC. Uh, go ahead and log in. Look at these. I think he gave me like something like 15 videos uh, before I was even hired on. Like I had just accepted the, the job. So I started watching. And that's when I started to, to understand a little more like, okay, so insurance, it's not just 
the bare minimum. You don't want to go for the cheapest thing. You want to go for the thing that covers you the best. You want to work with that. And that's, that's what I learned. Um, and coming into the industry, I was, like I told you way back when, I was doing construction. <laughs> I was literally uh, 12, 13, 14 hours a day in the sun and the heat. Going to 40 hours a week in an office, I was like, no matter what, I'm going to make this great. And I did. And it worked out. I kept following the lessons. Uh, everything you guys said on the videos, I followed through in my own little twists. And yeah, it turns out that it's true. And even to the point where like myself, I carry 500, 500. My family, no one carries under 100,000 minimum on bodily injury. All of my family members and friends that qualify for pups have them now. Put it that way. So you're truly protecting your customers as if they are your family and yeah. you're protecting your family as if they're family, you know, mm -hmm. you're wanting to make sure that, you know, if something happens that we write the check, not them y'all. That's our job. What I say when I'm ever, I'm recruiting somebody or meeting a new team member, talk to them about their role. I define our role as very simply this. Our job is to put ourselves in position to help our customers when they need us. Mm -hmm. Period. That's our job. See, I can't hop in my DeLorean, gun it to 88, go back in time and write a policy that was never written or fix a policy that was wrong. Guys, I kind of want you to imagine that whoever you're talking to today about their insurance is going to need it tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. Do they have what they need? If not, we have to have that sense of urgency to protect them. You know, Matt, Matt what's, what, what's, what is somebody at risk of losing if they have an accident or something happens and they don't have enough coverage? Their insurance company only writes a check for 25 grand or 50 grand or 100 grand, but there's a deficit. What could happen to that person? Well, I know full well what can happen uh, because my best friends, and I'm actually in the process of quoting them right now for their, I'm re-quoting them rather because I've quoted them home auto pup. They're like, yeah, we don't need that. They got into an accident in San Antonio. We're in, we're in Texas, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that, but we're in Texas. They're in San Antonio visiting, and they rear-ended someone and totaled their vehicle. Mm. Now, they currently have 5,100 through, uh, through a company that'll remain nameless. Um, but now they're asking me if it's too late to get that umbrella. I'm like, it's too late for that incident. Yeah, but it's definitely never too late for the future. So I'm actually recording them right now, and I know they're going to take it because they are actually being sued for 250000 upwards of $1 million for major bodily injury. Wow. What can be yeah. lost and at the moment is being lost is the fact that both of my friends are engineers. So they are young. They have a source of income. They just bought a house, got married about two years ago now, have a little one that they just had. So they have now a worry of a lawsuit that they're only covered for $50,000 for and $25,000 uh, on property damage. So they're at risk of losing a lot. Seriously. And it's, it's and not fun. Texas income can't be garnished, but you know, once mm -hmm. income hits your checking account, it's an asset. Yeah. That home that they put some money into that down payment that they scraped and saved for and put into. And now the home's growing some in value. Y'all home values have been skyrocketing over the past several years. Now all of that equity is at risk. Do you know how much it costs to hire an attorney just to represent you in a case? You're talking at least three to $400 an hour, y'all three to $400 mm -hmm. an hour. And, and gosh, if whoever wrote their policies had just taken five minutes to explain it to them a little bit better and got them the better coverage, they wouldn't be having to mess with all this. So, man, that's a powerful story. I hate that your friend's going through this, um, but I'm glad that you can use it to hopefully help others. And you're going to oh, yeah. put them in better position. So next time, God forbid, if there is a next time, you're going to write the check. Your insurance company's going to write the check, not them. Not them. Oh, man, I, I'm really impressed with you. Seriously, I've really enjoyed getting to work with you over the past year. I remember, I think, our first coaching session. I was like, what a big teddy bear. I was like, he, he was in construction, and now he's in insurance, right? I didn't yeah. know how you would relate to, like, a desk job. You know, I didn't know how, how yeah. well you might do. Not that I was doubting you, but I don't know, man. I didn't know if I saw you hitting 100 items so closely. And you've done it multiple times and come pretty darn close multiple months. Man, I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. I'm really Thank proud you. of you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. You're making me blush. <laughs> Big teddy bear, Matthew. Yeah. All right. Wait, I know you prefer Matt. Big teddy bear, Matt. Matt. Just put that yeah. on your business card, dude. That's your new, that's your new title. Insurance yeah. teddy bear, Matt Garcia. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Comes up as Matt. How about we, how about we work on some win backs, some requotes? So let me get my scripts shared here. Doop-a-doop. Let's share my CWC scripts. 
And y'all, I can't remember what y'all practiced or what y'all did. Uh, who who did win backs with me the other day in our practice session? Remind me, who did win backs? Let's start with win backs. Me. Okay, Gabby and Matt. So let's just go back to Gabby because yeah. we haven't talked to Gabby in a few minutes. So let's go to our win back script, Miss Gabby. Y'all, we love, love, love win backs. Crud, I've passed it. We have so many scripts. Where is it? Help me. What Simple page is it? Okay, requotes. Seven and eight. Here we go. Y'all, we love win backs and requotes. You know, our friend Casey was just talking about powerfully free leads like customer referrals and centers of influence like mortgage lender referrals, realtor referrals. Win backs and requotes are gold right now, y'all. Think about this for a second. Mm -hmm. Why did they leave us? Or why did they not buy from us? So if they're a win back, why did they leave us? Or if they're a requote, why did they not buy from us? Or quote not chosen. Some of your carriers call it QNCs, quote not chosen. Why, Gabby? Uh, well, if you don't fact find them, we don't care. We just call them. <laughs> but yeah. a lot of time, price. Why did they <laughs> it could be anything like price. Probably. Price. Duh. It's price. It's price. Mm -hmm. Y'all, what are all insurance companies doing right now? dramatically raising rates, tightening guidelines. Y'all, some carriers are pulling out of states or non-renewing policies, even for things like comp claims, comprehensive claims, because they're trying to thin the books because really not many insurance companies are making any money right now. They're losing hundreds of millions of dollars a year. So just because it was a no six months ago, a year ago, two or three years ago, it could be a yes today. We love winbacks and requotes. And the reason I'm doing this training mm -hmm. session session is because it's almost the identical script. It's almost the identical script. But let me start with Gabby. Let me start with Gabby. Let's just go through the top path of winbacks. Now, y'all, you know, you're going to have to leave some voicemails. So we've got the voicemail scripts on page two. Guess what the voicemail is? It's basically this opening line. So you're going to have to leave some voicemails, send some emails. If you have the ability to compliantly text them, if they've been opted into your texting platform and they're still active in that texting platform, y'all use text. If they're a really great win back or requote prospect, married, homeowner, multiple cars, they had pretty good credit, squeaky clean records, send them a handwritten card. Handwritten cards work, y'all. You, you leave somebody four or five voicemails, send them two or three emails, send them a handwritten card with your business card in it saying, hey, we need to talk your callback rates will go through the roof. Please don't just call a win back once or twice and say, hey, agent, I worked my lead. Give me another lead. No, you need to work this lead for several weeks. Then if you don't get them, just X date them six months if it's auto, 11 months or five months if it's auto, 11 months if it's any other type of annual policy, then start working it like it's new again. Then persistence pays. Persistence pays. Okay, Gabby, this is your fifth phone call to me over like a two-week period. We're in the second week. You probably only got a few more calls and maybe one more email and then you're just going to exdate me. But no, this time I answered. I'm a win back. Uh, let's say I left your agency a year and a half ago. All right. Give me a call and I answer. Ring it in, ding, ding. Hello. Hey, Joseph. It's Gabby with Anna Crable's office. How are you today? Oh, I'm, a, I'm okay. How about you? I am good. It's been a crazy week and 4th of July is my Absolutely, we're at holidays. I'm so excited. Um, do you have any plans for the holiday, or how is that looking for you? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to be probably getting my tan on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, I was just giving you a call today. Um, I was taking a look at the policies you had with our agency, and I was so excited to let you know that a lot has changed, and I'm super thankful that I'm able to share that with you today. Um, we're looking really, really great. I just need to make sure while I'm getting everything finalized. Are you still at 123 Main Street? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. But hey, you know, I appreciate you calling, but honestly, I'm not really interested because, you know, when I switched, I don't know, it was a year or two ago, I was able to save mm -hmm. a lot of money. Oh, uh, so I just, I just don't want to waste your time. That's why I wanted to answer. Oh my gosh. No, totally fine. You're so okay. I understand a lot has changed. And I know personally, the market is crazy right now. And after looking at everything, I'm super confident that we're going to be able to help you again. Um, again, we're so thankful for the last two years that you did give our agency when we had your policy. And it's only going to take a few minutes to look at what I can do for you today. Just so I can finish these last few um, couple bits of information. You said you were at 123 Main Street. Has anything else changed? Are any of the kids old enough to drive yet? Oh, no. Still, they're still uh, young elementary school. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I couldn't remember how old they were. I knew they were kids. So that is perfect. So then that still leaves the 2020 Toyota and then the Audi, right? Oh, well, yeah. But, you know, will this take long? I'm kind of in the middle of a Netflix series. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, nope, I totally get it. Everything is a budget, time, calories, and money. So just a couple of minutes and we can get this all finished and get you going. Okay, that was really smooth, really good. Virtual round of applause for Gabby. That was fantastic. And y'all, I love how, in the case you said time, calories, and money. Amen. That's hilarious. Everything <laughs> has a budget. I've never heard that. Where'd you come up with that? Did you steal that? Or did you make that yourself? I like it. Uh, me and my friend, we tell that to okay. each other all the time at lunch. <laughs> I like it. What I, what I love about Gabby is she's very positive. She has good energy, good enthusiasm. Guys, please don't just do this. Hi, Gabby. This is Joseph from your old agency. How are you? Oh, great. You don't want to quote, do you? Y'all, I'm telling you, that's how some of you sound. Maybe not on the first call, but on the 51st call, we're kind of down. We're kind of down. No, we got to keep the energy up, the enthusiasm up. You know what the absolute last thing I want to talk with you about today is, Gabby? As a consumer, the last thing I want to talk with you about. Your insurance. <laughs> Duh. Nobody wants to talk about insurance, y'all, unless they're like shopping for a home or shopping for a car. And they're like, oh, crap, I got to get the insurance, I guess. Nobody wants to talk about insurance. So you got to bring the energy. You got to bring the enthusiasm. That was a beautiful, perfect example. And great job overcoming that objection, then getting back to the assumptive quote. Y'all, please don't just overcome the objection really well, then stop and pause. When we pause, we're giving the, the customer the chance to object again. No, no, no. She didn't do that. She overcame the objection beautifully, went back to the assumptive quote with an assumptive quote question. You still got that Audi, you still got that car, whatever. Not, would you want a quote maybe? Probably not. Nope, she assumed the quote. I'm really impressed. That was really good. Let's go to Matt. Matt Garcia, win back script. I'm a prior customer. And I know your agency's only been open for a few years. Dave has only been around for a few years, but he's growing like crazy. Why? Because he has amazing team members like you and the whole team. Um, let's just say I canceled more recently. Maybe I just canceled my car six months ago. And dude, okay. has there been a lot of changes in the industry in the past six months? Sure. Yeah. Right, y'all. You don't have to wait a year or two to start working winbacks. Heck, you might mm -hmm. even have success within the first month. You might even have success within the first month. Think about it, new new team members, new or producers out there. Do you ever have a customer cancel on you within the first week or two? Does that ever happen? Oh, yeah. It happens. Why? Because yeah. they went somewhere else or decided to stay put. So even within the first month, you can potentially win people back. But let's say, dude, I canceled like January. So it's been six months. You give me a call and I finally answer. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, uh, yeah. Hello. Hey there, Joseph. This is Matt from Nassville Insurance Agency. How are you doing today? Oh, man, I'm good. Oh, I'm glad to hear. Glad to hear. So I'm going to tell you something. I was taking a look at your policies. I know you just left maybe, what was it, about six months ago. You went ahead and switched over to blah. Uh, now, I was taking a look at your policies that you had with us at that time. And I'm actually really excited to let you know that there's been a lot of changes and I have a feeling I got something that you're gonna like today. Now we're looking really good on these uh, policies that I put together, but I have your address at 123 Main Street. Is that right? Oh uh, yeah, but man, um, I just wanna stop you. I was able to save a bunch of money, you know, when I switched, me and my wife. Um, I think we're, we're all set for now, man. Mm. You know, Joseph, I get you completely. You and Lauren, you know, got everything going on in the world. You have a beautiful home, beautiful uh, cars. Everything's going great. I understand. But the cool thing is, once again, that a lot has changed. And I'm actually so confident that I'm going to be able to help you. That's actually why I'm reaching out to you. If I didn't feel confident enough, you'd be you'd be enjoying your current services. Now, I, would, I do want to thank you, though, because you were with us for about 20 years before. And that was awesome. Uh, let me just go ahead and update a little bit of our information here, even though it's been six months, I know things do change. Uh, so I have you at 123 Main Street. Uh, and, and as we spoke last, I remember you wanted to get like a Yukon, something along those lines, you wanted to upgrade from like a 2018 to a 2021, something along those lines. Did you ever make that upgrade? Um, yeah, actually, I did in, in December. How do you how do you remember that? Joseph, remember. I told you the first time when we got your policies, when I started maintaining your policies, that I was your agent, that I was going to take care of you. I remember things. I make sure to have that here because I like to keep my customers as much as possible. Now, I understand you wanted to save some cash in this economy. I get it. But I'm looking at the coverage that they actually gave you, and they're not saving you money. They might be saving you a little bit monthly. But if that day comes, that bad day comes, I can guarantee that they're going to say, well, I'll give you $50,000. That's it. I don't like that. So we're going to take care of this oh, no, today. No. Like I said, I'm excited. No, man, hold on a second. They gave me the mm -hmm. full coverage. 
I got, I oh, got the yeah. full coverage over there. Oh, yeah. You're fully covered up to $50,000 on liability. You have your deductibles for comprehensive and collision, so you'll get a new car. But cars can be replaced. They have car lots full of them. It's your liability that I'm worried about. The fact that you have a beautiful home, beautiful cars, great income. All that's at risk. That's, that's the problem here. For maybe $10 a month, $5 a month of difference, you're looking at losing everything. I want to fix that for you. I want to take care of you today. Let's go ahead and get you started once again. I have you there at one, you two, three, go. Main Street. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. Be careful that pause. Be careful yeah. that pause. Right. Let's take a look. That that Wait, so tell me more right about there. that Yukon. All right, t- yeah, dude, let's see. Dude, what so color was that smooth. Yukon? Now? Yeah, so smooth. So good. Uh, let's see here. Now I'm blushing. Uh, what I want to say, bro, Matt is smooth. Bro, Matt is smooth. Uh, Rachel said, we never state we are cheaper. Uh, so you just stay on leading with liability. I like that. And this is how he closes so many counts. Jacqueline just said, that was smooth, dude. Just be careful of that pause after overcoming objections. Be careful of that pause. Get back to the assumptive quote. I am impressed. Definitely. Man, I can't wait to see you continue to grow. And I'm really glad that I have the chance to work with you and the team twice a month. Uh, thank you to David for investing in you and let me work. Yeah, with he's you great. <laughs> All right. Let me go to my man, Casey in Georgia. Um, roll tide, Casey. I'm Where you go, baby? <laughs> Dude, I'm going to kick him off this call, y'all. I'm just kidding. Casey, let's dive into requotes. Let's dive into requotes. <clears throat> y'all, a no today is not a no forever, right? A no today is not a no forever. Every no that you get today could be a potential yes. It could be just a matter of weeks, could be a matter of months, could be a matter of years. You know, Casey, you've only been in the business for what, eight, nine months? I'm telling you, man. You're going to end up closing people a year from now that you started working this week. It's just really cool how you can build your pipeline over time. So I'm a requote. I'm a requote from the agency. It could be a couple of years old. It could be six months old. Doesn't really <clears> matter. <throat> a lot has changed in the insurance industry recently, right? So um, Casey, you're giving me a call. This is maybe your sixth or seventh call. You're about to just X date me five or six months and just move on. But no, I answer. Ring it in, ding, ding. Hello. Hey, Joseph, uh, this is Casey with the Matt Divine Agency. How you doing, man? Hey, man, uh, why don't you take me off your damn list and quit calling me? Click. Uh, click. All right, okay, Casey. I'm calling back. <laughs> no, no, no. Casey, I just hung up on you. How do you feel? Uh, next. Boom, baby. Next. Some will, most won't. So what? Next. Honestly, I'd Casey. they do that, then be like, oh, let's talk next week. Let's talk next week. Let's talk next week. And then. Yeah, so they did me a favor. Yes. See, I just did you a favor. Time, ladies and gentlemen, is your most valuable asset. Time. Time is your most valuable asset. I just did him a favor. All right, Casey, let's do it again. You're working alphabetically. The next person on your list is also named Joseph. Let's see how this one goes. Ring it, ding, ding, ding. Uh, Hello? Hey, Joseph, this is Casey with the Matt Divine Agency. How's it going? Um, I'm okay. Um, Who is this again? Yeah, this is uh, Casey with the Matt Devine Allstate Agency. Uh, so I'm just looking, you know, over quotes we did with you in the past. It looks like it was about a year ago, so I'm assuming you're coming up on renewal. Uh, I'm just stoked to let you know that a lot's changed on our end, and I just want to see if we can be a better fit for you there. Are you still at 123 Main Street? Uh, yeah, I am, but I don't, I don't really remember getting quotes from you guys. Yeah, it was about a year ago. Uh, I got you in here to tell me to see the info. So seeing you're at 123 Main Street and uh, – I'm assuming you still have the uh, 2015 Nissan Frontier. Um, well, yeah, that's what I have. So I guess I did. But hey, man, I'm I'm really kind of in the middle of something at work. I don't really have a lot of time. I, I might follow up with you a lot later this week, though. Hey, I get that, man. I don't have a lot of time either. Uh, so the best thing about this is I still have most of your information. This is only going to take a few minutes, and I promise it'll be worth a few minutes. So you're at 123 Main Street, and you've got that truck. Is there any other vehicle? I mean, um, my wife's car. Okay. Uh, I'm not seeing that on here. Could you confirm what that is? It's an Audi. Uh, Q7. Audi. Q7. Yeah, 23. Okay. 23. Oh, no joke. My wife and I were looking at a Q7 about two weeks ago. So that, that's awesome. I love those things. All right. So let's get that on there. Um, and uh, let's see what we can do to help you see if we can be a better fit. All right. But again, this won't take too long. Not at all, man. We've got most of your stuff. I just need to get a couple bits on that Audi and then I, we can get you going. So 
I don't know how far you want to go with it. Yeah, so. <laughs> let's, let's get going. Let me get you pulled up here. We need to yeah. dive next into building rapport, right? Once we get their agreement to the quote. Okay, Mr. Customer, now that I've got everything pulled up, I need to ask you a couple of questions. Just make sure I get to know more about you, your situation, your goals. That way I can make the right coverage recommendations and also give you every discount possible. Boom, we're on the building rapport script, which I think is currently on page 12. Really, really good job, man. Really good assumptive uh, quote. You're following the script, but it doesn't sound like you're reading, which is important, y'all. Please don't just read the scripts. Make them your own. What I want y'all to do is treat these things as if it's a recipe, but make it your own flavor, right? Make it your own flavor. Really, really great work, Casey. I appreciate you, man. I'm really proud of you too. And I'm thankful that Matt invests in you and lets me work with you and your team. Hey, where are y'all up to? Are you over 600 yet? Items for the month? Uh, do you know? I'll tell you in two seconds, we're real close. Yeah, I know y'all are shooting for 650. Um, Matt Devine's agency, he's, you got a great uh, leader there in Kevin, um, and you've got a great team. Y'all, they're busting oh, yeah. out 600 plus items a month. 600 we, plus items. Yeah, yes. Uh, well, no, we're like 575 ish. 575. You're going to do it again, though, right? You're going to do it again because yeah. we still got Thursday. We got Friday. Y'all going to crack 600 again, man. Keep up the great work and keep leading the way. Keep leading by example, man, for your team. Thank you, man. All I right. appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you. Oh, thank you. Say that again on camera. I'm just kidding. Uh, Dre, <laughs> what's up, Dre in Florida? So, man, Florida, there's been a lot of shaking up, right? Carriers are pulling out, non renewals, uh, rate increases like crazy. So, requotes are perfect for you guys right now in Florida because there's just been so much disruption in the industry. Y'all know what I always say about disruption. Disruption brings great opportunity. All right, man. So Dre, you're working through your requotes, right? You're working through your requotes. And I finally answer. This is maybe the third or fourth yeah. call over the first week or two. And I finally answer. Ring a ding, ding, ding. Hello? Uh, the auto he was going on is Joseph. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Joseph and Sandra from Greg Blanchard Agency over here. How you doing? I'm um, okay, man. But, but hold on a sec. Who, who is this? Uh, Dre, you remember I quoted you and your wife when you were getting her, that brand new Audi? Oh, yeah. 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 What's up, man? Yeah, all right, man. I was uh, looking at the things we did back then. And um, honestly, I'm excited to tell you that lots have changed and we're looking really good. Just wanted to finalize a couple of things. I uh, just wanted to make sure you're still at 123 Main Street. Oh yeah, I am. But hey, listen, I was I was expecting another call. Um, maybe hit me up tomorrow. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, honestly, you know, it takes about two more seconds. Like I said, I I still have the same information. You still have that same body, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's Lauren's. Did you? Uh, car. I'll see. Anything else? Like I know you have the Yukon. Anything else other than the Audi and the Yukon? Um, no, that's it. So you know what? Since you got my info, why don't you just uh, shoot me some quotes? I'll take a look at them. So, yeah, I mean, I can definitely do that now, um, honestly. But let me uh, finish up where I was going. Is there any other drivers on the policy with you, or is it just you and your wife still? Oh, yeah, just us. The The kids are still young. Okay, how are they? How are they doing? Oh, good. Home too much during the summer. I can't wait till school starts again. You know me? You feel me? Yeah, I'm with you. I just uh, paid summer camp, and it's uh, killing me, so I can understand <laughs> getting back in school. Um, and another thing I was going to ask you, um, are you guys still working from home or are you guys, uh, did you go back to the office? Um, I'm, I work from home. Okay. Okay. Any plans for the 4th of July? Um, nah, I'm at, I'm at hit the, yeah. the jet ski, you know? All right, man. And I, um, I'm looking at your liability limits here, which is pretty much the most important part of the, the, uh, whole car insurance. Do you remember what you carry? Boom, baby. Well, do I need to stop saying that? Is that professional? <laughs> boom, baby. Is that my that's my tagline? I like to say boom, but I'm adding baby. Y'all, he flowed straight into some building rapport. Or if we scroll down to the building rapport scripts at any moment, we'll be there. We just have too many scripts. Boom. He started kind of building rapport about what I do this weekend, etc. He probably remembers a lot about what we talked about before because he has some intimate notes on my profile, right? What I do for a living, what my spouse does, kids' information, whatever. And he flowed straight into leave with liability. And I dropped a little nugget there, didn't I? What am I going to be doing for the 4th of July? Might be hitting that jet ski. Boom. Maybe you didn't even know I had a jet ski when you talked to me six months ago or a year ago or whatever. I might even have multiple jet skis. I might have a boat. You know, I'm busy. I don't have time. Guys, ladies, gentlemen, 
They answered the phone. They got a minute. They answered the phone. All right. Don't just give up so easily. Don't give up so easily. But if you can tell that someone's truly not available, let's just kind of role play that, Dre. Hey, man. Oh, and by the way, I tried to trick him to email me the quote. Y'all don't fall into that trap. Do not fall into that trap of emailing the quote to somebody before you have the coverage conversation. Dre, when you send a quote to somebody without having a coverage conversation, what are they looking at on that quote? Premium. Yeah, the premium, the monthly rate, the six month rate, the annual rate, whatever. They're looking at the price. They're looking at the price. So I want to really challenge y'all. Get stuck in that trap. Yeah, I'm a mutual trade. Right? You got somebody in there like selling some bit, selling some business, something. Um, I really want to challenge everybody watching. Please don't fall into that trap on requotes, winbacks. It, sometimes internet leads. They're like, yeah, that's my stuff. Work up the quotes and email them to me. Don't fall for that trap. Say, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I'd be happy to email the quotes, but I just need to go over a couple things real quick. Make sure that I've got all the information right. I don't want to send you anything that's wrong. We've just got a couple variables here. This will literally take few minutes. In fact, I'm almost done. <laughs> Y'all need to say that kind of stuff pretty frequently towards the beginning of the call. Real quick. Uh, one more thing. Okay. Almost done. Oh, looking good. Little things like that. You're nowhere close to being done, y'all. You're nowhere close to being done, right? You're maybe 10% of the way through, 15% of the way through, something like that. Basically every minute you're trying to earn the next minute. Every minute you're trying to earn the next minute, keep them on the phone, keep them engaged, right? It's super duper important, especially if this was a lead. If this was a lead that your agent invested in for you, we have to close those leads, y'all. We have to close those leads so that we have a positive return on investment. Don't just get stuck emailing quotes to people before you have the coverage conversation. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, we have some time for some questions. I want to thank the Rising Stars, CBC Rising Stars, for not only donating your time today, but also in our weekly training sessions. See, ladies and gentlemen, watching this, you might not be aware, but about six weeks ago or so, we started the CBC Rising Stars program, and I picked about 15 producers from all across the country to participate. They meet with me just about every week so we can do some training to prep for this, and we're doing this. Y'all, that's two hours that they could be working they could be doing quotes. They could be doing business. So they're giving their time for us. So I just want to thank you guys. Do y'all have any questions? Does anybody have any questions out there? Feel free to send me a Q&A or a chat. And team members, y'all just stay on because somebody might ask you a question. Uh, Rising stars, somebody might ask a question. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> what script are you using in your presentation? Uh, Luis, Luis Morales wants to know what script are you using in your presentation? Well, Luis, I hope that you have access to the CBC platform and the CBC scripts, which includes some of the most important parts of our sales process, the sales process scorecard, which is also in the documents. It's called the sales process scorecard, or no, it's called the coaching scorecard sales process. The one that says, this is the entire sales process. It's a two to three page summary of our sales process, including some scripting. But then we have the CWC scripts and talk paths. I was working with an agent earlier today. She's only been with her agency for like uh, three or four weeks now. And she's already having some success. I said, how are you having so much success already? She's already written like 15 or 20 out of just her first couple of weeks, which is really good. And she's new to the area, y'all. She doesn't have friends or family. She like had to move to that state to be with her fiance or something. She said, Joseph, I got to be honest with you. I'm just reading the scripts. I'm reading the scripts and it's working. I was like, okay. Keep doing that then. Keep doing that. Keep growing. So I hope that you have access to our, our scripts. They're all in the documents. The CWC scripts are the very first document in the documents for team members. And then scroll down a little bit to find the coaching scorecard sales process. The one that says this is the entire sales process. Um, Casey, what is a good script when presenting a quote when the rate is nowhere near competitive? Casey, if you go on the platform, the Craig Wiggins Coaching On Demand platform, the wigginsuniversity.com, Search price, <clears throat> price, P-R-I-C-E. You'll find the live trainings that I've done and the short chapters that we have on the price is too high. When the price is too high, we simply break it down daily. We break it down daily, but that will only work if you're giving them additional coverage. Y'all, why would somebody buy the same thing for higher? What, just because you're nice? Because you're local, because your agency owner like sponsored the local softball team, the six-year-old girl softball team for 50 bucks. None of that matters. What matters is coverage. 
that's what's going to differentiate you. If you know that you're going to be more, y'all, let's be worth more. Let's be worth more. But I can't answer that question more in depth because I have a few more questions and we got like four minutes. Um, Gabriella, any tips on building confidence um, to be a little bit more pushy, but not feel like giving up on some, once someone says no? Gabriella, I want you to change that word in your sentence. Y'all, you're not I don't being want pushy, you to... you're being helpful. Thanks. You just gave the perfect answer. You're not, I say it this way. You're not being pushy. You're being a professional. You're being a professional, right? So Gabby is super smart and accurate. Y'all, it's not like we're selling people solar roofs or uh, essential oils. Y'all know somebody like years ago was like, hey, let's make some oils that smell good and we'll trick people into thinking that it heals illnesses. That's a billion dollar industry, y'all. We're not selling snake oil or weight loss pills that don't work or solar roofs, right? I'm not saying those are all bad products. Y'all, we're selling stuff that people legally have to have. They're literally required by law to have auto insurance. They're required by contract to have property insurance. We're not pushing product. We're protecting families. We're not being pushy, we're being a professional. So I just want to challenge you to really think that way. Guys, ladies, gentlemen, what you do matters. What you do matters. Think very highly of yourself. You might be the most important professional in your customers' lives. Many of your customers are working class type individuals like baby teddy bear Matt. I just added baby. Baby teddy bear Matt Garcia. He was in construction for years. Matt, when you were in construction, man, did you have like a personal banker that would give you advice, an investment advisor, an attorney, a CPA who would help you strategize how to pay less taxes? Did you have any type of professional in your life that gave you good advice, man, when you were like in, in construction? Of course. Who doesn't? No, I'm just kidding. No, um, I just, I didn't. So I didn't even know the first thing about insurance, honestly, until I became educated on it. I learned how to do it, followed the process and trusted the process. There you go. Uh, and that, that worked. Yes, sir. That's the thing, y'all. Most of your customers are working class type people. You know, like Craig Wiggins, y'all, has a freaking team of people. He has a team of professionals. He has a personal attorney, a business attorney, um, his accountant, um, his private banker, his commercial banker. He has a team of people giving him advice. He's come to me over the years and told me all kinds of things about advice that they've given to him on like how to invest in certain real estate, how to do certain things, how to buy this to save a ton on taxes, accelerated depreciation. Like he had my head spinning sometimes with the advice that he was telling me that I should start to think about because I couldn't afford to have that team. I, I'm not a guy that needs that team, right? I don't have a team of professional advisors. You might be it. You watching this video, you might be the only one, the only one to ever take five minutes to give these people this good advice to protect their hard-earned income, their home equity, their assets, their family, and their future, you. So take what you do very seriously. Never, ever, ever think down upon yourself that you're just pushing product. No, no, no. You're a professional advisor, professional advisor. Um, some of you are newer agents. Jacqueline says, how did you get so confident that you have them covered properly? We're a small agency with all new producers, not many people to go to. So I'll let, who wants to answer that? Maybe Casey, do you want to answer? Like, how do you be so confident, you know, being so new to this? Uh, yeah. So just like, I mean, you just got to believe in what you're selling to them and you got to realize that you're not really selling and you're advising. You're just, uh, the big thing that Kevin teaches me is, you know, as soon as you come out of your training just for the license you're now that one percent ten percent hundred percent more knowledgeable in insurance than anybody else around you and you have to just remind yourself of that um and you just gotta you know really believe in the process because we are actually taking care of them and that just kind of carries you with your confidence it makes it feel like you're advising and making them discover something more so than selling it <laughs> i love that matt did you want to add something confidence Yes. So coming to the confidence part, that role playing does help. Role playing helps a million times because if you can if you can talk to someone face to face, you can work on how you have your sentences being laid out. Basically, that's going to help you with the confidence side. Confidence in the product. Own the product yourself. That that's a big thing. Another thing, 
if you don't know, Gateway. It's like Google, but for your entrance. So you can literally search up topics, yes. like put a question in there, and it's going to give you documents. Read them. What does yard and garden cover? Oh, you have a tractor? Oh, I can cover you $20,000 on that tractor. I know those those zero point turns, those are $6,000, $7,000 a piece. You want that insured, definitely. Whenever I see someone who has at least like an acre, you know they're either hiring someone to cut their grass, so up the liability, or they're doing it themselves in the sun, which is ridiculous. Um, so they have to have a big old lawnmower. So we want to make sure that's covered as well. So it's I just, you, you just look at the things. Yeah. Yes. Become a master of the craft, but y'all. I didn't even know that, Matt. <laughs> professional. You're a licensed professional. I can promise you, you could be three days into the agency. You already know more about insurance than most people you're ever going to talk to. Kind of what Casey was saying. But I like what Matt was saying, become a master of the craft, study your policy jackets, read the resources on your intranet, ask your agent questions, you know, pick the brains of more tenured team members at the agency, just learn, 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 learn. But also the more you start to sell, the more you start to win, the more confident you will be. Confidence is the memory of winning. And just remember, y'all, when you're getting hung up on, when you're getting no's, when you think you're going to write somebody, and you're like, oh, my God, I'm about to do it. And then you order that MVR, and you're like, damn it. They said they had no accidents. They said they had no tickets, but there's like four. You're like, crud. I shouldn't say the D word. Crud. Darn it. Darn it. I can't write it. You're going to get frustrated. But then when you are able to help somebody, and you get that, like, high that feeling, I call it the winner's high, the seller's high. You know, you get some goosebumps, your heart's kind of racing, you're excited that you're able to help somebody. You might be thinking in your head, I wonder how much commission I just earned. You're proud of yourself, how you put somebody in better position. That feeling, that's what I want you to chase when things aren't so fun, right? When you're in the grind, doing the work, you're chasing that next win, you're chasing that next high. All right, it's a pretty cool thing. We've done some live training on confidence. So I forgot who asked that question, but whoever asked that question, go to the platform, click on the little magnifying glass up at the top, kind of at the top towards the right. It then juts out the search box, search confidence. You'll find a couple of great live training sessions that we've done on confidence. It'll help newer team members. Y'all, we're a minute over. We got to get y'all back to work. You got policies to write and people to protect. Thank you to our rising stars for giving us your time today and your talent. I know that you're really uh, ready to, to get back to work and write some business. Team members watching this call, Get off this call, pick up the phone, call somebody, quote somebody, close somebody, get them the coverage they deserve with you and your agency today. Thank you all so much. I'll see you all 